crash pads. It's an essential part to bouldering. When you go bouldering, the gear that you need is a pair of shoes, climbing shoes, a crash pad, and a chalk bag. So the crash pad sits below you and keeps you safe while you're climbing. So when you fall, the idea is that you hit the crash pad that absorbs the impact and lets you get back on the wall immediately. But what crash pad should you get? Today, I have a wonderful opportunity to go climbing with the owner of Kinetic Climbing, and we've got a couple of, of his pads out here. Now, we are using some of the older Newton pads, but I'll talk about some of their benefits, and we're gonna go ahead and review them and see if they're good enough to be Climber Dad approved. You'll see that there's these Velcros here and these big flaps that come over and protect your nice harness. So when you're walking out at the end of the day, you don't have this covered with mud and dirt. It's protected. So, John, tell me if I do this wrong. <laughs> fold that down. Fold this up. That connects there. I need to take this pad or this flap, which on the new Newton pads, mm -hmm. this is no longer a vinyl. It's a you have a vinyl on the inside. The vinyl inside and then, for waterproof fabric on the outside because of why? Uh, because the we found that the fabric is more puncture resistant and uh, has a better shear strength than the vinyl. Okay, so it still has the waterproofing that the vinyl has because it's on the inside, exactly. but you have that Cordura, it's a Cordura nylon, right? Uh, no. It's a nylon weave? Yeah, it's a nylon. Yeah, it's a 1680, which is actually a ballistic weight nylon. So it's a ballistic weight nylon that covers this. So it's actually better now than this version. Although this seems to be holding up quite nicely. Yeah. So now I can throw that down and not get the straps dirty. I love that design. So here's a little bit of voiceover action while I climb this sweet boulder problem that did give me some troubles and I needed to try hard and trust my crash pad to really focus. And that's something to be said about any crash pad that you have is that it needs to give you the confidence and the faith to focus on the problem that you are climbing. I've had Metolius crash pads, I've had Madrock crash pads, and the outside of my own crash pads, the only crash pads that have given me confidence to really try hard and succeed has been this kinetic crash pad. Every other pad, I really hesitate and think about that fall and whether I really want to commit to something and it's held me back. So whenever you do get a crash pad, make sure that it's something that you have confidence in. I do have confidence in this kinetic crash pad and I would recommend it. It is Climber Dad approved. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I also have another full review about this crash pad where I talk a little bit more about it and why it's good. That'll be coming up soon. So like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Climber Dad.